In recent months, lay residents and those in parts of the Highlands region who rely heavily on the Ramu power grid have raised concerns over the constant blackouts that have affected them. In Lay City, the industrial hub of Papua New Guinea, the demand for power has increased from 40 to 70 megawatts. This has been one of the causes of constant power outages. Today, the JICA and PNG Power signed instruments that will pave the way for JICA to undertake one of the biggest studies so far to improve power capacity in the Lay area. And other projects in the Ramu system. And our amb ambition is to adequately meet the demands of the customers in short to long term. The future demands for energy are being driven by the mining sector. Projects like the Wafi Gold Pool will expand and they will need power which PNG Power can't supply at the moment. JICA in its studies will include plans that will be based on future power demands to 2030. Fast track because the PNG Power does not want to wait for the result to come like after two years. Therefore, uh, we will fast track and also we will concentrate so that we can get an outcome. JICA has conducted preparatory survey on the expansion and reinforcement of the Ramu power grid and will continue with designing the master plan. The project is in line with PNG Power's efforts to provide consistent energy supply. It also falls in line with the government's priority to improve existing infrastructure. I want to ensure that as the development partners assist PNG Power, in this area of bringing um, electricity to the majority of our people. We want to ensure that the capacity of PNG power is also strengthened. Upon the completion of the master plan, the Ramu Power System Development Master Plan and Lay Area Distribution Network Improvement Plan will be developed between 2016 and 2030. Bridget Komatap, National MTV News.